This is a Upland 27 uh, stove, probably made around 19, uh, between 1980 and 1983, maybe. It's a rear exit to six inch uh, black pipe, and this is uh, in my basement, and it elbows into a Class A that then rides up the side of the house for about, I don't know, 25 feet. Um, I've got a magnetic temperature monitor on this. Right now the top, I just got the fire going not too long ago, probably about 15, 20 minutes ago. Temperature is reading around 350 to 360. I find that these magnetic gauges are surprisingly accurate when measured with the uh, Sentec uh, infrared temperature gun. Uh, the stove pipe right now is measuring, I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, at almost 300. Um, I find that the magnetic stick-ons are fairly accurate on the way up with the temperature, not so much on the way down when it starts cooling off and they kind of get stuck. Um, the uh, Upland 27, being an old stove, I've picked this up used. Uh, it's got a little rotary dial, I'm just using a stick to open and close it. But this uses the cigar burn style with an S burn uh, where it reburns the um, well it's supposed to be fairly efficient at reburning the uh, gases coming in. Ah, uh, she's been going out the exhaust. But just to open it up with my little fangled uh, high-tech stove opener. This stove is rated at, I think, 33,000 BTU. It really gets going. It's actually, I, I kind of like the uh, front to back burn. And as I said, this uh, fire just recently got going, so I still had the uh, the front dial air intake opened all the way up to full. Um, definitely don't want to leave it like that because it'll start to uh, overburn and get into an overfire condition. Um, this stove has, uh, you know, the sides of the stove as measured by the Centec have, have gone up to a reading of over 700 degrees and I don't like to run it that hot. Um, so what I'll do is start dialing it down to halfway for another 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I also have this little doohickey thing here that I got from someone. I won't uh, advertise for them because I don't know if they want me to, but I think this was uh, homegrown, put together with some electronic parts. But this is a temp temperature monitor with alarm and it's got a uh, silver cord going out over here on the side of the unit probably had to see because it's kind of dark in my basement but that's uh, stuck on and I have this set for uh, let's see it's set for 490 so then it uh the alarm will buzz off and then I'll reset it and it's a nice warning indicator that I can can almost hear it from upstairs, um, but it's pretty good. So the temperature's on the way up. Uh, the side of the stove takes a little bit longer to heat up. That 272 there, and according to the uh, the top of the stove, right above where the um, combustion gases are going, and back to the back of the um, exit, that's reading over 400 at this point. And the uh, Stove pipe is already reading at about a little over 350. So I'll actually dial this down just a little bit more to about 25% opening. And a video for another day is just another stove that I have disconnected. It's a, uh, eh, I painted it some barbecue paint. I'm going to 
just repaint it black, but that's an Upland 17 stove. Uh, almost a carbon copy of the Upland 27, but the Upland 17 accepts, I think, 16-inch uh, length logs. And it, it's a nice little stove. It's, uh uses many of the parts, exact same parts of the, as the uh, Yotul um, model. I think uh, 601, 602, something or other, somewhere around there. But it's very similar to that style. And it uses some of the exact same parts. Uh, you can look it up at Woodman's uh, Parts online, and the parts are the exact same model numbers. But, uh, like I said, another video for another day. And there's some extra pipes in the background, just because I don't have any other place to store them, but there's some extra pipes. But, uh, alright, thanks for watching, and uh, again, this was the Upland 27. And just before I shut it off, the uh, top of the stove temp is almost nearing 500. And by dropping down the dial on the air intake, my flue gas is around 360. On the black pipe, about a foot uh, above the stove itself. And that's it. Thanks for watching.